Welcome to the Daily Threat, your go-to source for the latest cybersecurity news. We've got some alarming stories that should make you sit up and take notice. Our first story involves a warning from the police about a rising cyber threat. The second one talks about a critical flaw in Cisco's emergency responder system. And the third story unveils a data breach at Sony impacting thousands in the U.S. Let's dive into the details. Our first headline today is a red alert from law enforcement agencies about a growing cyber threat called caching. Now, you might be familiar with phishing, but caching is a clever twist. Attackers are exploiting the trust people place in emergency alerts. They're sending deceptive messages, often via email or text, impersonating official sources like police departments or emergency services. The attackers use social engineering tactics to trick recipients into clicking malicious links or providing sensitive information. Once the victim falls for the caching attempt, the attackers can exploit the gained access for various malicious activities. How did they get in? Well, the attackers are exploiting the sense of urgency associated with emergency alerts, catching individuals off guard and increasing the likelihood of a successful attack. Now, let's talk about the risks. Beyond the immediate danger of falling victim to a caching attack, there are broader implications. The compromise of personal information, financial loss, and even potential disruptions to critical infrastructure are all on the table. So, what can you do to protect yourself and your business? First and foremost, always verify the authenticity of emergency alerts. Contact the relevant authorities through official channels to confirm the information. Additionally, ensure that your employees are educated on the dangers of caching attacks and are trained to recognize suspicious messages. Implementing multi-factor authentication, MFA, is another crucial step to add an extra layer of security. By doing so, even if someone falls for a caching attempt and provides logging credentials, the MFA acts as a deterrent. Our second headline involves a critical vulnerability in Cisco's emergency responder system. This flaw allowed unauthorized individuals to gain access to systems by exploiting hard-coded root credentials. In simple terms, the attackers had a backdoor key to enter the system without detection. How did they get in? The hard-coded root credentials acted as a skeleton key, providing unauthorized access to the emergency responder system. This means that anyone with knowledge of these credentials could potentially manipulate the system, posing a severe threat to public safety. Now, let's discuss the risks associated with this vulnerability. Beyond the obvious security concerns, unauthorized access to emergency responder systems can result in delayed or incorrect responses during critical situations. Lives could be at stake if these systems are compromised. If you're using Cisco's emergency responder system, the first and most urgent step is to apply the latest security patches. Cisco has released fixes to address this vulnerability, and prompt action is crucial. Additionally, regularly review and update access controls to limit the number of individuals with privileged access to critical systems. It's a reminder for all organizations to conduct regular security audits and ensure that any systems with hard-coded credentials are either patched or replaced with more secure alternatives. Our final story today is a concerning revelation from Sony, confirming a data breach that has impacted thousands of individuals in the United States. How did they get in? The details are still emerging, but it appears that attackers exploited vulnerabilities in Sony's systems to gain unauthorized access to sensitive information. This breach underscores the persistent threat that organizations face from sophisticated cyber criminals. The risks associated with a data breach are multifaceted. Personal information, including names, addresses, and possibly financial data, could be in the hands of malicious actors. This can lead to identity theft, financial fraud, and even more targeted and sophisticated attacks. For individuals affected by the Sony data breach, it's essential to monitor your accounts for any suspicious activity and consider changing passwords, especially if they were shared across multiple services. For businesses, this incident is a stark reminder to invest in robust cybersecurity measures. Regularly update and patch systems, conduct thorough security assessments, and implement encryption to safeguard sensitive data. Additionally, 
consider investing in threat intelligence services to stay ahead of emerging threats. That concludes today's episode of The Daily Threat. Remember, staying informed is the first line of defense against cyber threats. Subscribe to our channel for daily updates, and a big thank you to our sponsor, QIT Solutions, for making this broadcast possible. Stay vigilant, stay secure, and until next time, signing off for The Daily Threat.